Every game matters, obviously, but this one matters just a little bit more. Sup Buckeye Nation, I'm Eddie Cotton, and this Thursday, the Ohio State women's basketball team is taking on the team up north. And this is a matchup that has always been tightly contested, especially the last seven decided by single digits. You know, everyone loves playing that TTUN, that team up north. Oh, so it's just like we just have, have energy from the beginning. Um, crowd's, crowd's probably going to be good, so, you know, we got to feed off of that. So it's going to be a good game. Thursday's get, it's a big game. It's a huge game. Um, it'd be a great one for us, but they're a really great team, so we're going to have to come ready to play. Uh, you know, our kids will be fired up. I mean, we have great respect for their program at the same time. Um, we know this is a big game, and so I know our kids will play really hard tomorrow. Now, when you look at this matchup, the team up north is clearly on a roll right now. Back-to-back -back wins against Penn State and Michigan State, and they come into this one 11-3 in the season. And you look at their keys, it's Nas Hillman. She averages 15 points a game as only a sophomore. They're a great team. Michigan, they've had a, they had a great non-conference. They've started off really well in the Big Ten. They um, have one of the best post players in the league, and Nas Hillman. She can score. She's a great rebounder. Um, and then they, they, they really play hard. Uh, they execute on offense pretty well. Um, so be another real challenge for us. I think just, just playing those great teams really kind of shows you where you have to get better. If you want to win, you got to play for the whole 40 minutes. I mean, people aren't going to let up on you, and we shouldn't be doing the same to other teams. So just a big emphasis on that for sure. Now, when you look at the keys for Ohio State, it's quite obvious you're looking at this team's depth. It's what they do so well. Seven players on this team are averaging over seven points, and six of them are underclassmen. I mean, we're young, but we're really deep. Um, we have a lot of key players that can help at different positions, so I think that's a big advantage for us. It's just, you know, we just got to grow as a team. I mean, we're still trying to figure out everyone's roles, everyone, what everyone does best. So, I mean, it's good, but it's just, you know, we just got to take advantage of it. I think we hear a lot that we're young and we're inconsistent, but I think that kind of drives us to work even harder um, and get better at all the things we have to get better at. If you break away from the depth talk and look at the key individuals on this Ohio State team, clearly you have to look at Kirsten Bell, who was Big Ten Freshman of the Week this past week for the second time this season, and you look at Braxton Miller, who leads the Big Ten in assist to turnover ratio, even though she plays 31 minutes a game. Braxton's really steady. She's the most experienced player we have. Um, and so that's she plays a lot of minutes just because she's steady and you kind of she's one of the players you kind of know what you're going to get from her night in night out um, but you're right in a game where um, we feel like we can't turn you know we're trying to keep our turnovers down she's great to have on the court because she's usually really good at that we like her on the court because she's really steady she makes other people better she doesn't turn the ball over all of that comes together for what is obviously going to be an exciting matchup here in columbus it's the team up north against the Buckeyes, a rivalry you do not want to miss. So make sure to get your tickets at OhioStateBuckeyes.com and follow us on Twitter at OhioSTAthletics. And don't forget, go Bucks!